Okay, now, uh, I chunked it into two videos because I didn't want one to be huge, so I chunked it into two videos. Now, for the flip side of it, we're not multiplying decimals. Whoop! Literal flip side, we're multiplying fractions. Let me get rid of this word from the last one. That was terribly drawn. I know, I know, I know. Now, multiplying fractions is probably much easier than multiplying decimals. So there's kind of less work involved. All you really got to do, remember this, when we were adding and subtracting fractions, what you needed was like denominators. That does not matter. Let me repeat, that does not matter a third time. That does not matter when you're multiplying fractions. Okay, multiplying fractions, all you have to do, okay, all you have to do is multiply across. Multiply across for the top. Multiply across for the bottom. Okay, 7 times 4. Very good, 28. Yep, yep, very good, very good, very good. Sorry, I just thought I heard somebody else's answer back there. Yeah, 28. <laughs> and then the bottom side, 9 times 10. So make sure you're not cross multiplying here. We are just simply multiplying across. Seven times four, a terribly written 28. Nine times 10, gonna be a terribly written 90. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's terrible. That is just terrible. I can make that better. Come on. There we go, better. Now, not my final answer. Why is it not my final answer? Yeah, very good, I have to simplify. Okay, I have both evens. And for their evens, I know I can both reduce them by two. Now, if you wanted to, you can go through, you can try to find uh, the like denom the, the, the greatest common factor. Greatest common factor of both of these. I'm just going to reduce by 2 each time. So half of 28 is, I'm going to start over here. Half of 28 is 14, because I feel like this is going to go on for a while. 14. Half of 90, yeah, 45. Very good. Does it look like my face freezes sometimes when I do that? Okay. So, uh, final answer, 14, 50, 40 bits. Uh, I can't reduce that in a half. Uh, I can split it by seven. So, I'm going to say we're done. I'm going to say that's our final answer. Our final answer is 14, 40 fifths. Very good. So, when you're multiplying fractions, all you have to do, multiply, sorry, multiply across, reduce your answer. Which, let's see how terrible this circle becomes. Not a terrible circle. Very good. All right, go us. All right, Stingrays. Yes, there was talk about a survey. Um, I'm going to post that tomorrow on my good morning message. Um, if you want to go on to Stinson's or um, our services page right now or Kelly's page, whoever did post it, and do that now, feel free. Um, but like I said, I'll post it tomorrow in my good morning message. It does not be done until Friday, but they want it done as soon as possible. Bye.